look how fly these sequentials look. That's what I'm talking about. What's happening fam? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. This is your boy Luke and we're back for another quick install video. This will help spruce up your Ram 1500. This right here, it is for your side view mirrors. This is the portion that, see this triangular piece right here? This goes to the bottom of your side view mirror and it has the LED for your courtesy lights pretty sure you guys seen it and these are for your turn signals so now this portion right here it comes in clear or smoked I chose smoked obviously because my truck is black but the LEDs work pretty damn good and what's dope about these these have sequential turn signals now as I said before guys this will cover your fourth gen Rams from the 09 to 18 1500 and some 2500s and tools you're gonna need for this, real, real simple. A pry tool, flathead screwdriver, and some dielectric grease, just for your electrical connections. And that's really it. I think it's a little bit more labor intensive because I'm gonna show you in a second what you need to do. But I just wanted to show you a quick demonstration as you saw from the intro. So when we open, let me just bend this back. That's the LEDs lighting under there. As soon as I touch the door, the sequential is going to go off, open it, and I'm going to turn on the hazards real quick. Guys, forgive my truck. It is freaking dirty. But look how dope those signals are with the turn signals. It's pretty damn cool, if I might say so myself. So you got your, still have your courtesy lights, and you have some sequential LED turns and you know I mean obviously you'll, it'll go sequential anytime this activates so if I put my hand on my doorknob as you can see all right guys so upon looking at this if you take a look at the stock portion right here you have your rubber weather stripping right here and you have a breather port and you have this wedge right here see this wedge this is gonna be an integral part of taking and putting this piece back in and Obviously, upon looking at this, it has the same thing. And obviously, your port connection right here that you have to plug the harness into. This has it as well. Has the notch. Obviously, this is for the passenger side. Has the notch. Has your breather port. And your weather stripping around it as well. And that's that's really it, man. This It's, you know, I mean, pretty much the same. Pretty much the same thing. Okay, just this has the added touch of having... The smoke look has the LEDs right here, just like this one. Has the two LED chipsets right here. But instead of this just blinking, this strobes. All right, guys. So I'm trying to give you guys the best angle I can give you guys. So just bear with me. But I want to show you something here real quick. Let me explain. So the first thing you're going to do is obviously your mirror is like that, right? So you're going to move it like this push it so let's say it's like that you're gonna push it up like this all the way as far as it can go so you can have some space in here then we're gonna push it back just like that okay so push it back as far as it can go right here because you're gonna need that okay so let me put this back real quick now uh, headlight will also help you know assist you guys depending on the daylight you guys have it's still cold over here is this is like the warmest day we've had in like two weeks and I think it's like 45 degrees but anyway um so what we, you're gonna have to do is you're gonna take your flathead screwdriver or a really sharp pry tool and this plastic piece right here you're gonna try to move it okay you're gonna try to move that like so i'll show you this uh, there's a space so right in the middle of this plastic there's a space right here okay so you're gonna do that and then take your pry tool there we go and notch and notch it like this so you want 
this piece right here to to move away okay now i want to show you something now that's probably the hard part right there now don't be afraid just take your time as i told you right here if you notice um right here there's a little bit of a lip so there's plastic right here and it indents right here that's where you want to put your screwdriver or sharp pry tool now the inside this is where um the other delicate part is I, i'm going to put up a picture there's a notch in there that i was that i spoke about previously Give me one second and that notch is what you have to take you gotta take your pry tool and you're pushing it that way and i'll show you why now once you push it that way let me put the camera back real quick because it's almost like a latch it's like a safety latch so once you push it that way now there we go so once you push it that way and you start pulling it down on this back side over here that is where your rubber seal is so that's you're going to feel some resistance don't be scared okay don't be don't be scared you just put the spy tool down there we go and that's it and that's how you release that this is the notch right here that i'm talking about so you have to push it look at this to push it that way all right guys so once this piece is down you have your wiring harness right here this little tab right here you just slightly pry it up and then you could pull it apart guys the tab it's um <laughs> how do i put it it's very very um they're very weak and obviously mine has been on this car for a long time so even if it breaks it doesn't matter because we're installing a new piece anyway and it, it wouldn't matter so okay so you just slightly pry up the tab and you pull off the harness and i want to show you guys something real quick over here see under here right here that's the space that this notch goes into so putting this back in we start from this end first and then we put back the piece that we pried off first we're gonna go in backwards and we so we're doing this last all right all right guys so the install is complete it looks pretty damn nice i really like the smoke version rather than the clear that's why i got it now again when you're putting this in okay you start off you start inserting this corner here first so you tuck that corner in now this piece right here is going to be sticking out so you want to take if you can get somebody to help you but i actually did this on my own as you could see what you want to do is try to take your thumb if you're obviously if you're strong and try to slightly move this piece try to pry it this way to the left and try to push this in slightly now don't force this and i'll tell you why that same notch in here that picture i put up previously that same notch in there is going to be hitting the plastic that i showed you so all you do is while you're slightly pushing this piece in you take your pry tool or screwdriver and you push the notch try to get the notch into the slot because what's going to happen is the notch is actually going to be hitting a piece of plastic which won't allow this piece to seat up if you get what i'm saying so let's say this is the notch right here it's going to be hitting a piece of plastic so if you push it with the pry tool or a screwdriver uh this way a little bit what's going to happen is it's going to fall into the slot and this will be able to go in it it'll take some time but you'll get it 
Now, is it a pain in the ass? Yes, I'm letting you guys know it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. But look how really, really nice that looks, man. That smoke version is freaking dope. And obviously you guys saw from the time lapse, I took my dielectric grease, put it on the connection. Actually, uh, this connection over here had a little bit of uh, build up on it, on the, uh, on the ports. And so I cleaned it off, I cleaned it off, put dielectric grease, and this type of grease, it's very, very important, especially when you're doing electrical work. It actually helps wick any type of moisture from the area and from that circuit. So it gives you, um, you know, you have that 100% connection, if you get what I'm saying. But let's test this bad boy out real quick. So let's do a little lock. Nice. Unlock. Yeah. Lock. Unlock. So now if I go to open the door. Man, that shit looks so cool. So, so cool. Pretty damn freaking awesome. And obviously you could see the LEDs light up to the bottom as a courtesy. And obviously guys, I have courtesy lights on this truck. I never did a video on it. That's before I got onto YouTube, but shit is pretty damn bright as you could see. And it actually works with turn signals as well so the reason why i got the smoke ones i could care less about this courtesy portion right here it's nice it's a nice little accessory to have um i will come out back later to see how bright it's gonna be but i really liked i really got this for the sequential turn signal portion all right guys you know what to do like subscribe comment i'm gonna be back out later and we could check this out all right guys so we are back you start this bad boy. Turn on the hazards real quick. Let's take a look at these lights. Now the exposure is lowered all the way. So. Man, I like that, man. That looks so dope. This looks so fly, man. So fly. Love it. Guys, you know what to do. Definitely like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. I'll talk to you guys soon.